I'm uh, Robert van Wessel. After combining work and research for was almost seven years, I uh, well I got a PhD in uh, information management with the topic of uh, company standardization. Uh, we look at a number of perspectives. Uh, so the, uh, first of all, we saw an increased client uh, uh, satisfaction. So both the uh, uh, internal clients, but also especially also external clients, were satisfied when companies uh, gained the certi certificate. Uh, well, that results into more sales, uh, fewer uh, or higher performance uh, in, in quality of service. So that contributes to the uh, yeah, to the overall performance of a company. And, the, well, and the, the, the core reason is, of course, because it's a standard about uh, mitigating risks and risk management. So from that perspective, you've got higher uh, service quality and that tra finally translate into well, more benefits from a financial perspective. Uh, if I can recollect the figures uh, correctly, some 20% increase in, uh, in sales was found compared to companies that didn't get a certificate. And, uh, uh, and also very interesting is to know that companies that gained that certificate uh, really have better insight into all kinds of figures. So they do client surveys uh, about uh, how they perceive it because it has to do with awareness. They better know what kind of information security incidents happen. They better know the impact. They better know how to mitigate the, uh, the risks and so on. So there are really a lot of advantages. Well, the first thing to, to check is the, uh, the yeah, intention of the company, why they, are, well, why they want to gain that certificate. Is it because of commercial reasons or because of uh, uh, quality improvement reasons or because others already have so, so they, it's a sort of must? That de depending on that driver, uh, well, you see differences in results. Ideally, a business-driven uh, activity uh, and surely not an IT thing because, uh, uh, well, uh, quite a few companies see information security as a problem of IT. They should solve it and we don't get any involvement. <laughs> it's your job to make so. Well, th that, that's definitely the wrong starting point. So, well, in, in, in most cases, it's a combination of business and IT management that is driving such an initiative. Uh, when companies are, have already gained experience with other uh, standards, like the 9000 series or the 40,000, uh, well, then, then you see they, they are, uh, well, in better shape to implement it in, in a timely manner and uh, cost effective. So that's another important uh, parameter on success. I think. And we found out that after one or two years after implementation uh, and also certification, they don't get any additional benefits. And, and the, the reason is they have implemented a number or even a lot of controls to meet the, the requirements of the standard and to get their risk profile uh, better. But when they have done so, uh, well, that's it, at least what I think uh, is the reason. So, well, it, from this standard only, they don't get any additional benefits as time went by. They, well, that's the thing to reason.